Hello, my BHT friends. Excalibur here. I'm just gonna be doing a small training here. Uh, it might you know might go on more than a few minutes because I usually like explaining things in detail. Uh, but it's made so that we can help our friend here, Tadu, who's having an issue. Uh, he's using a scraper, and the scraper, when it pulls numbers, it pulls them in this format where it's got the parentheses, parentheses, space, the dash. And if you're going to be importing these numbers into ACT, into the analytic call tracking, it has to be in this format where it's just a one and then the full number with no spaces, no dashes, no parentheses, nothing like that. So. Uh, there's two ways of doing it. There's the Notepad way of doing it, and I don't use regular Notepad. I use Notepad++ because you can use regular expressions for this. Um, so I definitely recommend go to Notepad++ and uh, go ahead and download it and install it. Let me just show you the URL to that. Um, go directly to this URL, sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash Notepad dash plus. Okay, so install that one from there. Uh, if you're a Mac user, I don't know if there's um, if Notepad is available for Mac or just the Windows. Um, and if you are if you have Excel and you don't have Notepad, the other method is the Excel method. So I'm going to go ahead and try and show both of them here and try and keep this video to under 10 minutes while I show you. So let me go ahead and and first give thanks to Impulse for this amazing code he shared right here. This is an amazing expression that you can use um, when you are working with Notepad. So Impulse, great job on this. This is a truly work of art, man. Uh, it's definitely awesome. Uh, I, I had the chance to test it. It works beautifully. So I want I'm gonna go ahead and explain it also. Okay. So the first method I'm gonna explain, just because I'm sure that you know many here still don't have Excel, I'm gonna use that Notepad method because that's a free method of doing it. Uh, so if you download that Notepad Notepad++, plus plus, and you open it up. Uh, here is the instructions. If you want, you know, just go ahead and pause it and take and read it through. Uh, so I'm going to show you the steps. Step one, you want to remove the first parentheses and you want to replace it with a one. Okay, and then step two, you want to remove the second parentheses and replace that with nothing. Okay, you want to leave it blank. And then step three will be to remove the dash. And that one, we're going to be using something called regular expressions, uh, which is actually available on Notepad++. I don't think the regular Notepad can do that. So uh, anyway, so let me just show you here on an example file that I've got open. Uh, actually, let me close it, not save it, and reopen it here. So I'm going to open it on Notepad++. And if you notice this field right here, it's got the phone numbers the way we don't want them. Okay, so using this guide on this right here, we're first going to search using a comma and then an opening parenthesis. Why do you use those two? Well, because suppose that uh, somebody here on their address is using a, a um, parenthesis. If you just search for parenthesis and replace it with a one, it could mess up, you know, the information. You know, uh, for example, just just as an example here, let's say that this person for apartment A. They, they put it on parentheses like this, okay? So if you were to just simply search for a parentheses up here and, and replace this first parentheses with a one, what's gonna happen is when it comes down to this A, it'll get that parentheses and it'll replace it with a one, and now you don't have the, the apartment correct. It's gonna say apartment 1A and you know the address won't be right, okay? So in order to do it correctly, you wanna choose the comma and the parentheses and that way it will only choose the comma parentheses that's part of the phone number you see that so we're on the very first line at the very top so we're going to go ahead and make a replace so click on this right here this little blue thing that's for replacing make sure the search mode says normal okay so normal and then down here you're going to replace it with a comma and the number one you see that so first comma and then the the parentheses which is the um, opening parentheses and then comma and one so when you do that just go ahead and notice how this is already selected right I'm gonna hit replace and notice how it's going to change that parentheses to a one so it'll say comma one four zero nine check it out see that now it automatically went to the next one so now that one's gonna say comma one five zero five so I'm gonna go ahead and click on replace see that comma one five zero five so it'll do the same with the rest of the phone number so let me just go ahead and click on replace all and now it just did it with every single phone number. Let me close this little dialog box. And notice how all of the phone numbers are now in the right format. It's a comma first, then the one, and then the area code, no parentheses there. Okay. And the same applies with the next parentheses. The next parentheses is going to have a comma and then an empty space just to the right of that. So we need you need to make sure you do this correctly. Select the very first comma here and then select the empty space to the right and make sure you stop before that number, the next number. So it's a comma and a space, okay? Uh, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the replace here. 
and it's already auto automatically it adds it in see that so if you use your your arrows on your keyboard like for example I'm, right now I'm I'm tapping the right arrow on my keyboard it does not move anymore because there's no more spaces and if I move it to the left it moves one space and then it moves onto the left side of that closing parentheses so it's so you can tell it basically only has two characters there two to the left two to the right and if I tap it more to the right nothing happens so there, it's not putting any more spaces you see that and it's important that you do it just right because if you add any more spaces for example let me just do it as an example let me add one more space I just added the space bar so now notice now it's gonna be looking for parentheses and two spaces so if I hit next check out what happens nothing I cannot find it right so I'm gonna go ahead and take off that one space and now if I hit next there it is it finds the next one then it found the next one. Let me click next again. See that? So let me take it all the way to the top. So it starts from the top all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to click down. And so what do we want to replace this with? Make sure you click here. Select everything. Make sure everything is selected. So like in case there's any more spaces to the right and you were to just do this and you leave those spaces there, it's not going to work. So make sure that there, that you select everything there. Hit delete. And just to just to be on the safe side, just go ahead and like click on with the left mouse button here and just drag to the left make sure that nothing turns blue um, and then hit you know delete backspace just to make sure it's totally empty and then at that point you can hit the replace button notice how the 9 and the 2 are together now it took off that parentheses in the space now in this case it'll take off that parentheses in the space and it'll say 5 and 8 6 0 all together check it out boom see that it took off that parentheses in the space and now let's do the same thing for everything else so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit on replace all and it did it to the rest of the 53 records. So notice how our phone number is starting to take shape now. You see that? So now all we gotta do is take off that dash. Now this is, you know, as the expression goes, easier said than done, because what if on somebody's email here, they're using a dash. For example, let's say this Robinson right here on the email, he's using a dash. If you go discriminately just deleting all the dashes, well, it's going to take off every dash in the whole document, including right here where the email address is. And if that were to happen, of course, it's going to mess up emails. Um, on this, on these records, for example, if the person says how much they, they're willing to spend or invest on an income opportunity, you know, it wouldn't look right because suddenly it would look like a huge number if we were to take off that dash. You see that? So this is where regular expressions comes in really, really handy. So let me just show you a simple regular expression that you can use, okay? Um, regular expression is, is go, it's a different way of making searches and here you can see the expressions we're going to be using. Uh, so you're going to use minus sign because it's going to be looking for that minus sign or the dash. And then what's inside of the parentheses is the regular expression or it's, it's what's, what's going to be looking for it. Basically anything after the minus sign and it's going to stop to where the comma is basically that's what it's saying. And then we're going to replace it with that full expression without adding the dash and that's what that backslash one means. Okay. So now Let's go ahead and go back into it. I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this whole thing. Do copy. I'm going to go to the regular expression. I'm on the very, very first line on the, on the front. And then I'm going to hit on replace. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paste that search string right here. Now, it's important that you go down here and you click on regular expression. You see this right here? Click on regular expression. And then what do you want to replace it with? Well, minus, I mean, the backslash and the one, just as uh, as we saw on the other one. So now by doing that, let me go ahead and hit find next and check out what's going to happen. Notice how it automatically highlighted this area, the dash, four numbers up to the comma. And so what it's going to do as I click on replace, it's basically going to just replace that regular expression without the dash. You see that? So it's going to leave this alone. It's going to take off the dash. Check it out. So what, what's going to happen as soon as I, I click on it, you're going to see this number take take shape or take form into the full number. You're going to see that 4112 unite next to that one and followed by a comma. Check it out. Boom. There it is. 4112 comma. So now there's this other one. 606822. It shouldn't have that dash in there. So let me hit replace. And there it is. 606822 comma. So now I can hit replace all. And it just did... 53 more occurrences as you can see it didn't go into the document and take off any more dashes it didn't do anything else that could have messed up the document so there it is now you have your your fields formatted like they have to be the phone numbers are looking like they have to be so at this point what you want to do is you want to save it now I'm not gonna go ahead and, and just hit save I'm gonna go ahead and go to save as and I'm gonna go ahead and give it the name 
fixed just so we can take a look at the differences fixed.csv and here under normal file I'm gonna choose all types okay so make sure you choose all types and you end it with .csv that way it's gonna save it in the correct format okay I'm gonna hit save now and then I can go ahead and open both files side by side and show you you know the difference you know what we were able to make so I'm just gonna drag it here drop it and then I'm gonna drag the fixed one there drop it notice how it opens it up in tabs that's one of the neat features of this of this little program so there you see the original okay and you can see all the phone number fields how they have their parentheses dashes now let's look at the fixed one and fixed with the one and everything notice that 10 digit numbers um, and enclosed in this commas perfectly so you're not gonna have any issue importing this into your ACT software anyways this has gone a lot longer than I expected you know if you wanna learn the Excel way of doing it uh, versus this uh, the the notepad just let me know in the forum and I'll be happy to record another video and show you how to do it uh, using the Excel format um, and that would be using this expression that um, impulse put on the on the thread which is uh, an amazing expression and uh, and it works beautifully so anyways I'm gonna keep this video as short as I can so you just learned the notepad way of fixing up your numbers and cleaning them up. Anyways, this is Excalibur. You have an awesome day and bye for now. Hey guys, it's Excalibur again. Uh, I was about to publish the other video when it just occurred to me, what if the list that you have is only a column of phone numbers or the very first phone number or the very first column is the phone number and it's not in between anything. So in that case, your expression has to change a little bit. So let me go ahead and show you what the expression would be. If the first column is a phone number, that means you're not going to have a comma beforehand. So it'll be, it'll be difficult uh, in, this, in this case up here. You know how I show you to do uh, comma and the parentheses so in the case that the very first column is a phone number there's no comma before it so this is the way that you deal with it this right here should be let me just go ahead and exit and copy it here paste it up here okay so this is what the expression would look like in case you know that's that's what would happen okay so I just created one file just to show you as an example so here's here's a file with the first column being the phone number so I'm gonna drag it and drop it here on the notepad plus plus and now you can see the phone numbers are in the very first column so I cannot choose comma parentheses in order for it to search for it it has to be this one right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show you real quick by using that modified expression uh, this one right here I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole thing then I'm going to go ahead and, oh, and and the replace, you're going to replace it with one backslash one, just like that, as you see it, okay? So then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go ahead and hit, re hit replace, and it's already there with one backslash one. I have regular expression selected. Keep in mind, it you don't keep it. You, you, it can't be normal because it's going to be trying to look for those characters in the field. So make sure that regular expression is selected. I'm going to hit find next, and notice how it selected this whole area right here. Okay, and that one backslash one tells it to replace it with just the one, and that backslash one at the end tells it to leave the regular expression alone. So I'm going to hit replace, and notice how it's going to take off that first parentheses and turn it into a one. Check it out. Boom, there. Boom, again. See, every time I hit replace, notice how it's going down, just putting a one instead. So I wanted to do it, you know, real quick, so I'm just going to hit replace all. And there it is. I just did everything, like all 55 records on this document, immediately replaced the first parentheses, took it off, and then added uh, the one. And as far as everything else that you saw in the, re the video, continues applying for the second step and the third step. So the only thing that I needed to change was that very first part. In case the first column is a phone number, uh, you use that expression right here versus this little regular search mode right there. Okay, anyways, um, this is just a quick update there. I hope, I hope it's helpful. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.